Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. What we're going to be concentrating on here today is we're going to be concentrating on the CVX-130 and mainly the wheels of the CVX-130. So they're coming off now, I'm going to whip them off. I have a spare set of wheels to go on the front. It's going to save me an awful lot of propping up. I'll take off the back ones and they're going to be sandblasted. And once they're sandblasted, them wheels will be coming straight back here. They're going to be, paint, they're going to be primed. And once the primer is dry, we're going to top coat them. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is you'll see me taking these wheels off and you'll also see me doing some painting. And I'm going to show you the basics of painting or what I know about painting. So that's basically what this video is going to be about. Um, so you can sit back and you'll be able to watch me whipping off these wheels in a very fast manner. Okay, so basically you've all seen the wheels been taken off now. Um, I had to heat some of the nuts with the gas as the impact gun just wasn't able to take them off. But uh, once there was a bit of heat on them, it got them off, no trouble. Um, so basically we're moving on to the painting stage now. Um, and I'm going to explain just the basics of paint. So we have a primer, which is the guy here in the big tin. Um, the small tin is a hardener and the third tin here is tinners. Um, there's two different types of tinners. There's standard tinners which really is only suitable for washing guns and stuff like that. Um, what you really need to be using for when you're painting is two pack tinners and that's what is in that tin there is two pack tinners. Um, so for the primer, I'll probably add a bit of tinners. Um, I won't add hardener because harden or sorry, because that paint really sets um, relatively quickly anyway. Um, what your hardener does is it actually, the paint sets an awful lot faster. So just for example, the top coat on these wheels, if I put hardener in with that, you're looking at maybe half an hour and uh, you'll be able to touch the wheels, you'll be able to put the wheels on and everything. So it's uh, it's fantastic in that aspect. And another thing it does is it actually makes the top coat that bit more durable. Um, obviously it hardens the paint. It's not as, you know, sometimes you can move paint with your nail. Uh, if you don't use hardener, um, you won't be able to do that once you put the hardener in. But um, if you use too much hardener, uh, the paint can actually just come off in big sheets uh, so you wouldn't be using very much hardener um, general rule of thumb would be a cap full to the spray gun full usually seems to work uh, relatively okay so um, that's the basics of paint um, obviously you have loads of different primers to do loads of various different things but um, I've had good success with this primer um, it's worked well for me in the past, so we're going to use that again here on these wheels. Well, as you can see, um, we got our rims primed last night. Um, 
This is one of the front ones and the three back ones, or sorry, the other back one and the two, the other front one and the two back ones are there. Um, it was difficult enough because it was dark when we were at it, so it was hard to see what we were doing. Also, after the wheels are blasted, they're pretty much the same colour as this primer is, so that made it made it even trickier to see what we're doing. But anyway, today we're going to be top coating, and um, I'm going to show you a little bit about mixing the paint and all that kind of carry on, and um, we'll get stuck into it. So. That's pretty much it there now for the moment. Them wheels are primed. Uh, there's a good coat of primer on them. I'd say there's probably maybe three litres between the four wheels. So um, a good thick coat of primer. And now we'll start putting on our top coat. Okay, so we, we have our paint here now. And we have our gun. Um, we have a bigger nozzle on the gun. It's a 1.8 millimetre nozzle. I'm fairly sure they're usually one mil nozzles i might be wrong but anyway it's a bigger nozzle so it, what that allows you to do is you have more of a paint flow through the nozzle um downside upsides to that is thicker paints can go through without thinning them uh, the downside to it is obviously more paint going through uh, you're more susceptible to runs um the top loader gun is a lot better than you see ones with the tank down here um i used to have one of those and it was just it was very hard to get the spray right these seem to be an awful lot better um and this one didn't break the bank either so um basically we have a paint what we're going to do is put a bit of hardener into that mix it up i'll fill the gun and uh, i'll set the camera up there you'll be able to see me spraying Okay, so what we've done is we've went on relatively light for the first run. Um, that's just basically, if you get that to dry in a bit, you kind of have a bit more of a grip on the paint. That's what I find. Look, I'm not a professional spray painter by any means. Um, this is all self-taught stuff, but it's worked for me. So um, that's what I do really. I go over it lightly first, then the next run a bit heavier. And finally, your last run, you'll be going very heavy. Um, Obviously, try not to get it to run, but the heavier you go, the more of a deep shine will be off that paint. If you go light, that paint is very dull. It's not awfully shiny, so you need to go heavy. You can even see the difference here, where I went heavy here. It's nice, shiny, deep color, whereas here, it's still a kind of dull, no shine off of it. Um, so I'm going to get stuck in a bit more there now and uh, you'll be able to see the final results because this one probably won't even need three runs. I'll probably get it in the next run. So I'll show you that and you can tell me what you think in the comments. Okay, as you can see now, that whole rim has been now painted again and it's got that deep shine to it. So I'm happy enough with that result. Um, I probably have to rotate it a couple of times because obviously trying to do up here you can't properly see if you've got it all or not but um, that's kind of the idea of doing it twice or three times uh, it really reduces the risk of you missing bits so I'm relatively happy with that result um, I mean this job altogether between paint and sandblasting probably isn't going to cost me much over 400 euro and 
for anyone who's really into their tractors and into their machinery it can vastly vastly improve the look of a machine um they look pretty poor with rusty rims in them but uh this really changes them obviously i'm cheating a bit i'm leaving the tires on um you could mask them but uh when i'm disposing of these tires there's no need for me to go to any of that trouble but um also what i've found before is uh i put um what was the name of it uh, it's uh, pipe joining fluid. You get it in any kind of uh, builder's source, rubbed it around the tire, and uh, it just washes off. So when your paint is dry, just literally, what you don't even need a power hose with water, and it'll all run off. All your paint will be stuck to it, and um, it's a pretty easy way of masking the wheel. So. Um, anyway, there's a good few clips there now together, so we'll probably leave this at the one video. So thanks everyone who's been watching, who's been subscribing. Um, let us know what you think in the comments of what we're doing here. And we'll talk to you again. This will be Saturday evening's video. So we'll talk to you in the middle of the week with another video. And thank you for watching and we'll see you later.